HoopsOnLane.com Fan Podcast, Episode 28, Citadel Post Game. Hoops on Lane Fan Podcast is sponsored by About Face Cosmetic Therapy Center because basketball season is also laser hair removal season. You're listening to Hoops on Lane, a fan produced pregame and postgame podcast about the Ohio State University men's basketball team. Visit hoopsonlane.com or subscribe where you listen to podcasts for all the latest episodes and information. Now, here's your host, Dave Horning. Greetings, Hoops fans. This is Dave Horning for HoopsOnLane.com Fan Podcast with a review of last night's win by the Buckeyes over the Citadel Bulldogs by a score of 97-65 to in a game played at the Schottenstein Center. The Citadel is ranked number 294 on the team rankings list of all 351 men's Division I basketball teams. And as expected, the game was not close with the Buckeyes winning handily. With a game coming up against the North Carolina Tar Heels this Saturday, I would have liked to have seen a tougher opponent, but last week was finals week, so this game being scheduled is understandable. The first thing to watch at the beginning of each Ohio State game is the starting lineup, which often changes. Number two, Musa Jallo, the freshman from Bloomington, Indiana, started at guard in place of Cam Williams. C.J. Jackson remained in the starting lineup, along with Caleb Wesson, Kata Bates-Diop, and of course Jay Sean Tate. Although not a starter, it was good to see Micah Potter back on the court and starting to recover from his ankle injury. Potter played for 19 minutes in the game. Against an easier opponent like the Citadel, there are going to be some easy baskets. However, it was great to see the Buckeyes patiently working the ball around for good shots and not falling into the trap of just shooting at the first opportunity or playing the Citadel style of play. This would have been an easy trap to fall into when playing a team like the Citadel that employs a run-and-gun style made famous by Paul Westhead at Loyola Marymount. But the Buckeyes did run some great offensive series that resulted in wide-open shots. This is what will be needed against North Carolina. The easy baskets will not be there. If you visit our website, hoopsonlane.com, you will see some video of these examples. Coming up next, we'll talk about the Buckeyes' three-point shooting against the Citadel. Hello, Hoops fans. This is Cassie Lawings for About Face. I'm licensed by the State Medical Board of Ohio to provide laser hair removal services. We've been offering laser hair removal since 1999, which makes us the longest continuously operating laser hair removal center in Columbus. What do basketball fans have in common with laser hair removal, you might ask? First of all, laser hair removal fits into your schedule better in the wintertime. Our patients must stay out of the sun for four to six weeks before and after each laser treatment, which is easier to do in the winter. Basketball season is laser hair removal season. Ask about our $50 off special for Hoops fans. Call us today at 614-457-0448. That's 614-457-0448. We're conveniently located at 1918 Bethel Road. At halftime, the Buckeyes were shooting 4 of 13 on their three-point shots for a 31% average. In the second half, they made 7 of 14 for 50% until the last four minutes when the substitutes missed the last eight three-point attempts. Cam Williams, Andrew Dockich, Kata Bates-Diop, and C.J. Jackson were combined 11 of 23 on three-point shots. Let's hope this confidence carries over against North Carolina. 